This is a 1952 Chevrolet 3100 short bed truck. And I'm gonna take it for a quick drive and show you around. It's got a C10 front clip on it. She's got a 350 V8 automatic transmission. gauges in it. Good oil pressure. Runs at about 185. It's got power steering, power disc brakes. The old truck drives really good. Good and straight. Doesn't really have the old truck wander because we've got the front clip on it. So Boy, it really runs and drives great. Also, you'll notice if you listen to some of my other videos or if you just sit in an old truck, you hear a lot of rat-a-tattling running down the road. You hear that this, this truck's pretty quiet. Doesn't have a bunch of tat-tat-tat and rat-tat-tats and all that stuff like a lot of old trucks do. It's really nice to be able to pull into an area like this with power steering. Got a nice sound and exhaust. electricity. Nice sounding truck exhaust. And engine runs great. Transmission shifts perfect. Uh, I've taken this truck for a few drives and uh, really enjoy it. Um, I love the hot rod look of it. It's, it's done in flat black. I really love the fact that it's got the sun visor on it. Those are really hard to find and I've had dozens of these trucks over the past few years because they're just such big sellers. Um, I just really love them. Uh, I think I've had three with a bonnet on them like that, the little sun visor. Um, overall, a pretty straight body. It is a rat rod style truck, so it's got some spots in it where there's, you know, a little, if you look on there, kind of rough uh you know mild dents and stuff like that things that could probably could be blocked out uh of course fenders can always be replaced but really the value in this truck today is that it runs awesome it's mechanically great and um and it's uh it's kind of that rat rod hot rod style truck shop truck and that's really where the value is in it if that's what you're looking for this doesn't need anything um, maybe you might want to replace this uh, one cab corner over here. This cab corner, uh, they make the replacements for them on OMC, and it, this one is rotten out. Um, and maybe not. If you're looking for the old school style, you know, ratty rod, then you may not want to mess with stuff like that. It's got some nice looking uh, rally wheels on it. Very nice, very nice uh, Chevy orange red with the, uh, with the, uh, chrome on it they look really really nice the tires look like they're pretty much brand new have excellent tread on them now if you go body panel by body panel which i'll just do real quick if you were going to do a restoration on truck the hood on this truck is good the grill you might want to replace or work it a little bit your front fender looks good your door looks good top looks good Sides of the bed are pretty straight. Uh, this rear fender right here need, would need a little work here. This, I'm just saying if you wanted to put a really nice, trying to look, put a really nice paint job on it, you probably want to just put a brand new tailgate on it because uh, this one's all shot up with those little rust spots in it that are kind of typical. Like I said, sides of the bed look pretty good. This fender looks good. Uh, back of the cab looks pretty good with the uh, exception of maybe a few, a few dents here. I mean, this was probably a work truck and that's pretty typical for them to get beat up. The door over here looks good and the fender over here looks good. So walking around it, 85% of the truck looks looks good. Body looks good. So anyways, inside very presentable. Door panels, seat cover looks new. Just a real simple vinyl. Uh, it does have seat belts in it that are new and they look really good. Uh, custom floor pan, all new. I'll show you up underneath this thing in just a second. Uh, floor looks great. I mean, it's all brand new, no rust in it. Um, now there is a little bit of rust there. 
right underneath your hinge. The hinge pocket itself looks good. And same here. Sometimes those hinge pockets get rusted out, but not on this truck. But right below it, sometimes they rust, and that is a little that's rusty right there. And then the bottom of the door has got some rust on the inside of it. Uh, but the outside looks good and preserved. So maybe a patch on the inside if you wanted to fix rust. Personally, I wouldn't fix a bunch of rust on this truck. I think it looks cool the way it is. It's got new glass windshields. All the glass in it, besides the rear glass, is in good shape. Window rolls up and down. This one does. I didn't check the other one. Um, but the glass looks good. That one's got some scratches on it. It may be on the tent. And then the back window's got all busted up. Um, that piece of glass back there is like $35. Headliner looks pretty good. It's got a radio in it. Let's see. Oh, I guess the key has to be in the on position. There you go. We have a special guest, Missy Robertson from Duck Dynasty. Uh, Missy is married to... Um, I would put some better speakers in it, but that stereo actually works. Works good. Um, looks like there may have been a camper on this at one point in time. Somebody steel reinforced the sides of the bed. I'm not that crazy about it, but man, you take a grinder to it and pop it off. And who knows, maybe somebody would really like that for a farm style truck or shop truck. That might be a really great thing to have on there. So, um, show you the underneath of the truck real quick. Oh, also, it's got a hitch trailer hitch on the back with the uh, brake light in the middle and that's pretty cool that would be great for towing a motorcycle trailer or something i mean the fact that the, the whole drivetrain has been upgraded um independent front suspension power disc brakes power steering whole drivetrain and all that i mean you can cruise down the freeway in this thing now just like any other 70s model vehicle like i said you know you can tell the floor pans are they look brand spanking new Frame rails look really good. There's some dirt and clods and stuff up underneath here. We didn't we didn't blast the underneath. Got some old cherry bombs on it. They actually sound pretty good. Ugh. Surface rust, but no major rust. No rust at all on the frame that I can see. You can tell. There's a uh, there's the back of the cab right there. That's the back of the cab that's got that rust right there. <sighs> Looks like a new wiring too. Inside the fender, you can see that little spot of rust in there. That's what I was showing you inside just just a second ago. Cool truck, man. I love these things, and I love I love trucks like this because this one's ready to go. A little rust right there, typical rust spot. Back cab, back, uh, I'm sorry, fender wells look pretty good. I'll do the other one over here. Well, there you have it. This is a really cool truck. These are the, these are the ones that I always wish I could keep. Um, but you know, we're not in the business of keeping cars. We're in the business of selling them. And, um, this is going to make somebody a really fun truck. I mean, like I said, if it was mine, honestly, I really wouldn't do a whole lot to it. Probably throw some better speakers in it. Drive it like it is. It's a lot of fun. Um, it runs really, really good. It'll do 75 miles an hour down the freeway if you need it to. Um, steers great, great tires. I mean, she's really for a rat rod shop truck. She's really ready to go for, uh, driving project absolutely if you wanted to do that i think you could you've got a lot of potential there too but uh my to, the value in it to me is it looks really cool just the way it is